Good morning, kids and families of the heart. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna talk about one of the parts of this sermon called the Sermon on the Mount. And it's a weird, it says, blessed are those who mourn. So kids, before we jump into that, I just wanna put on the screen, this is the word mourn. So if you're thinking of mourning, spell it with a U. <laughs> a little bit different, mourning and mourning. So I get confused with those two things because I sometimes mourn that it's morning and then I pour myself a cup of coffee and then things are okay and of course pray. But at any rate, we're going to be talking about mourning and, and kids, I, I think to, to get this idea a little bit warmed up for you, I want to ask you a question. Are you ready? What do you do when you're sad? What do you do when you're sad? Now, before I get into sadness and what people in the Bible sometimes did when they were sad, because some of the things they did when they were sad were kind of interesting. But let me just say this, there's a lot of reasons to be sad, and that's okay. You see, I work with the youth at our church, and we've been going through something called lament, which is a spiritual discipline, a kind of prayer that lets God know that we're sad. And so we can do that. Now, what did ancient Israelites do when they were sad? Well, it's a little weird, but I'll show you. Oftentimes, when ancient Israelites wanted to express their sadness for a variety of reasons, they would rip their clothes off. Um, don't worry. I got a shirt underneath. And and they would put on sackcloth. And they would sit. And I didn't want to get ashes on my carpet, but they would put ashes on their head. Anybody do that when they're sad? Does anybody think that's a bit silly to do, to put on a rough cloth, if you guys have ever felt burlap, maybe like a coffee bag. I don't have any with me, but I've got this kind of coarse fabric. Um, this is actually pretty soft. It's kind of an opulent sackcloth. But anyway, this, the idea of putting on sackcloths and, and tearing their clothes, you see it in all kinds of scenes. Let me, let me survey a few for us. When Job lost his children, he tore his clothes and sat in ash and sackcloth for seven full days, weeping loudly to God. When David's son got sick, even David, a king, put himself on the ground in sackcloth for night after night, mourning his sick son. Even the whole city of Nineveh, by decree of a king, they put themselves in sackcloth and sat in ashes when they found out that they had done something wrong before God. In fact, they took it so seriously, they put sackcloth on their cows. So people did this to, to show that they were mourning, to show that they were sad. They could be sad about something they've done, like a sin. They could be sad about something that God was doing that they didn't like. And they could be sad because they lost something or someone in their lives. And what this did, the putting on of sackcloth, was to communicate to God and to the people around them that they were in mourning, that they were sad, that they needed to talk about how they felt. And so they had this way of showing the people around them and even showing God and themselves, I'm broken right now and I need help. And I'm wondering kids, what do you do when you're sad? It's the question I asked at the beginning. How do you tell people you need help because you're sad? It could, you could be sad again because maybe you've done something that you regret or maybe you've just don't understand why God is doing certain things right now and, and you, you want answers or maybe it's because you lost something or someone or things are just weird and different and we need to be able to show our sadness to one another and to God and that's what I want to invite you to do this morning so kids 
I have a challenge for you. Ready for challenge? Yeah! Yes, my son Rowan, almost every morning we sit at the breakfast table and he says, I've got a challenge. I want a challenge for the day. So Rowan and all the rest of the kids, here's your challenge. During the rest of the Sunday morning, I want you to take some time to write about or draw a picture of what makes you sad in your life right now. And then I want you to talk about it with God. Pray about it and talk about it with your parents if you like. See what happens when you mourn what's going on in your life as an act of hope. So maybe you don't want to put itchy sackcloth on your head or rip your clothes or put ashes uh, on your body to tell people that you need God to fix something that's broken in your heart. Maybe you don't need to do all of those things, right? But, but we have to have something in our toolkit, right? Something that we can do to show God and the people around us, hey, I'm sad and I need your help. Because the people that did this, that put sackcloth in their head, they didn't stay this way. They didn't live this way. They went through a season of mourning and God did something in their hearts and the people around them surrounded them. And we believe that God can restore us, that he can bring joy into our lives. So let's communicate our sadness. Let's learn to mourn together and to expect God to change your hearts in the process. All right, I hope this image has been helpful and hopefully you for can forget the one where I took my shirt off. Maybe this will stick. Okay, well, Godspeed kids and, and chew on this as you hear uh, the sermon this morning on blessed are those who mourn. Godspeed.